Hello everyone, this is part two of the Graphic 45 Bird Song Pagoda and Mini Album Project I Designed. Part one covered the details on the mini album, and this video I'll cover the details on the pagoda. So let me rotate my camera and show you more of my pagoda. Bear with me again, this is day one of this new camera holder I got so I'm not as solid with handling it so thank you for your patience hope I didn't make anybody dizzy so the roof of the pagoda is made completely out of cardstock and paper again there are the beading elements I did myself as some of you know from my blog or my other videos I mentioned that I also make jewelry so having these beads really came in handy for this project. The base of the finial is a box lid and every other piece is three stacks of chipboard in varying widths and colors as you can see here. I used gold metallic cardstock where you see the gold. The roof is piped with black cardstock that I scored and glued. And then I trimmed the base also in black to give a more finished and uniform look. I distressed as much as possible on the pagoda because I wanted a more weathered, distressed look. And by not doing it, it was just a little bit too bright for the look that I was trying to achieve. On the inside lid, to hide my hot glue, I used cording and I lined it in black cardstock. I also added a chip um, cardstock element here with the gold metallic uh, paper just for a little added detail. Kind of dresses up the inside of the pagoda roof. The template I designed for the roof was a little bit complicated. It took me several attempts before I got the size and the curve um, for the roof. And the curve of the roof was a combination of running it across the edge of my craft desk and just lightly misting the cardstock, um, the chipboard with, uh, and the cardstock actually, with some water to get the cur full curve. And then patience, and as you can see, I even lined up the stripes on each corner of the roof so they matched up, almost like a chevron. And part of this is my background as a seamstress, <clears throat> many, many years doing um, men's pinstripe, menswear pinstripes, and also pinstripes on women's clothing and home decor. You, it really looks good when you can line up your stripes on either side of your uh, project. So that is the roof of the pagoda. The base of the pagoda measures about six and three quarters by seven and a half or so. I, in order to achieve the lattice work on the soji screens on the panels, I took eight inch chipboard four pieces glued together to give the thickness that I needed. And then you can see here how that adds a little bit more detail to the um, Soji screen. The bottom view or the inside view of the Pogoda is just as beautiful as the outside. Graphic 45 did a phenomenal job with this paper collection. I wanted to incorporate as many of the elements um, in the collection and the papers, so I fussy cut this floral scene and I added it to the floor of the pagoda. I offset it with just plain black cardstock and again the metallic cardstock I used for the finial details and the outside part of the pagoda. I distressed the floral uh, design just to mute it down a little bit and I think it really adds to the gold that's in the metallic. It is also a lovely view from the inside of the box through the Soji screen. The Soji screen itself was made out of vellum 
paper and you know I tried to dif different kinds of paper some of them were a little bit opaque I like the way the light kind of goes through the um, vellum paper to really make it look like a, a soji screen this is a sturdy piece and the album does sit nicely in it so as you can see here it does fit nicely in the box so it makes a beautiful display I simply love this project I had this in my head for so long I can't even remember and to see it really come to uh, light and I can actually look at it and touch it and feel it it just makes me so incredibly proud I really truly hope that you like this project as much as I do and thank you so much for watching.